We celebrate his speed. We marvel at his rescues. But we rarely ask the most terrifying question. What happens when the flash stops? It sounds simple. A minor pause in a superhuman journey. In reality, it is a recipe for a catastrophic, world-ending disaster. When Barry Allen runs, he moves the equivalent of an entire mountain range of energy. Physics dictates that any object with mass, moving at near-light speeds, possesses an unthinkable amount of momentum. And when that momentum is abruptly halted, that energy has to go somewhere. It converts. It converts into the three most destructive forces known to man. Heat, pressure, and shock waves. Imagine the flash, mid-stride, suddenly freezing for just one second. The first thing to hit you is not the silence, but a supercharged sonic boom. It would be hundreds of times more powerful than a simple sound barrier break. This shockwave would not just shatter glass. It would obliterate the immediate surrounding architecture. And instantly rupture eardrums and internal organs for blocks. But that's only the air. Now, let's look at the ground. The immense kinetic energy is transferred directly to the point of contact. The ground beneath his feet wouldn't just crack, it would instantly vaporize. The sudden stop would carve a colossal crater. Turning asphalt and concrete into molten dust, creating a momentary, localized, lava field. The terrifying truth is that without a fundamental cheating mechanism, the flash would cease to exist. His own body would tear itself apart from the deceleration forces. His bones would instantly fracture. His skin would burn away from frictional heat, and his organs would flatten. This is the Speed Force's primary purpose. It's not just an engine. It's a constant, living buffer. It acts as an invisible, custom-tailored suit of armor, protecting him from the catastrophic fallout of his own movements. It absorbs the momentum, negates the friction, and allows him the illusion of stopping safely. But what if that connection is weakened? What if he's distracted? Or what if he pushes the boundary of the speed force's grace? This is the fear his greatest enemy understands all too well. You play in the sandbox, Barry. You think you're safe because of that pathetic connection. But I know the truth. You are always one tiny misstep away. That single quote reveals the paradox. The speed force is the only thing keeping him alive, yet relying on it makes him vulnerable to those who can disrupt it. His power is a constant, precise, terrifying balancing act. Every time the Flash races into battle, he is not just fighting the villains, he is fighting the fundamental laws of the universe. He is fighting the inevitable, catastrophic requirement of momentum conservation. His true heroism isn't how fast he runs, it's the constant mental discipline required. To ensure that his power doesn't accidentally destroy the world he's trying to save.
That is the unseen, urgent warning.